you can be a diabetic, you can be in great shape, you can do everything right, and you can still die. What diabetes means is it means that your blood sugar is too high. And it's actually a whole spectrum of diseases. There's a lot of ways you can get too high blood sugar. Type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease and tends to get worse with time. There's 29.1 million Americans with diabetes. It wasn't too long ago that I remember there would be a million new cases of diabetes every year. That number is close to 2 million new cases of diabetes every year. That floors me. Type 1, type 2, and prediabetes are on the rise in America and all across the world. What I've seen in the past is, you know, a constant increase in diabetes and it's becoming really a pandemic. Diabetes rates are increasing and increasing to the extent that I think the health system will not be able to cope if we do not do something about stemming the tide of the diabetes epidemic. The complications of diabetes include limb amputation, kidney failure, heart attack, and blindness. Why is this happening? The epidemic of diabetes worldwide is paralleling the increase in obesity, and the increase in obesity worldwide parallels the westernization of the diet. I now have patients with type 2 diabetes who are pre-teenage. I'm concerned that this next generation is not projected to have the same health that the current one does. Most of this is related to obesity-caused complications. It's currently the biggest public health threat that we face globally. Who is to blame? Nowadays, food and marketing go hand in hand, and it's quite insidious. Food manufacturers know what people tend to respond to. Every decade or so, everything's had just a little bit more sugar, just a little bit more sugar, and we see that across the board with all kinds of packaged foods. I think it's easier to stop smoking than it is to quit sugar, simply because we are raised from birth with sugar. Eating a piece of bread is a bit like eating candy. We develop cravings and even addictions to these foods. I remember one day standing at the cupboard and stuffing in chocolate biscuits in my mouth and thinking, I hate myself. Why am I doing this? Why can't I stop doing this? And it occurred to me, I'm addicted to this stuff. We've gone from curing a disease to managing a disease. And I don't think the pharmaceutical industry or indeed the food industry, they're not at the top of the game when it comes to treating chronic illness. I think the doctors have incentive to put you on medicine a lot of the time and I think there's a degree of business in medicine. Doctors are highly focused on medication and just take more, take more, take more versus going to the root of the issue which is change your eating, change your exercise and change your life. So many people, they're conditioned to the way that they are, uh, the way that they've been doing things for so long. A lot of people fear change. The burden of diabetes doesn't get easier over time. Diabetes is kind of like a moving target, so that, you know, what, what's working today may not work tomorrow. Yeah, you're young, but it, you don't get more than one body. So you could treat it like garbage when you're young, but that garbage is going to catch up to you when you're older. What can we do to reverse this terrible trend? This is a lifestyle-driven epidemic, and so it requires a lifestyle solution. In this multi-episode series, we're going to uncover the truth. There's a lot kind of involved with managing diabetes. You have to watch what you eat. You have to check your blood sugar. And so it's a whole kind of change in, in routine, and that's overwhelming. Every choice that you make right now is going to affect some of these things later. And reveal amazing secrets. For anyone who is concerned with possibly developing diabetes, what I would say is this. There are small changes you can make in your life that will lead to incredibly positive outcomes. To put you and your loved ones on a path of hope and health. We have patients who have been on substantial doses of drugs that have been able to stop their drug treatment by simply uh, changing their lifestyle. With key insights from leading doctors, nutritionists, and physical fitness experts. The more muscle you have, the more sensitive you are to insulin. The more sensitive you are to insulin, the less insulin you have to take. 
they may see on the labels, no trans fats. But don't be fooled by that because the food industries do not have our best interest. When I'm more stressed, when I don't get a lot of sleep, I notice that my blood sugar levels uh, spike and my body's ability to modulate them, even with insulin, decreases. Featuring unique, first-hand knowledge from type 1, type 2, and even former diabetics. When the diabetic specialist said, you know, people do this and that cures their diabetes. And I was like, you can cure diabetes doing this? It was like, wow. It's possible to show reversal of disease. So there's some suggestion that in some cases we can actually see the progression of diabetes certainly slowed down, but even reversed in some cases. I'm pleased to share this with everybody because it can be done. You know, it can be beaten with healthy and delicious recipes. This is a good source of protein and many micronutrients that will help you get started and feel very energized for the day. And easy, safe, and effective at-home exercise routines. So you want to build yourself up to the point where you feel like you're getting quite fatigued at the end of your sets. We've found powerful, lasting methods for improving your health. Diabetes can be turned around. We can actually make different choices. We can see improvement in health over time. Don't see it as something that is terrible, horrific, you know, bad. This is something you've now got control over. We went into this business because we really want to help people and we know it's possible. Eight incredible episodes, over 40 experts, hours of bonus digital content one revolutionary series. There's a lot of really good news in diabetes that really doesn't get talked about. It's that with good care, you can live a long and healthy life with diabetes. You have one life, you know, why wouldn't you do as much as you possibly can to enjoy it, but enjoy it in a good way, and also enjoy it for as long as you possibly can. Once you start to feel better, you'll realize how bad you felt. If this documentary can help one student realize that the only person who has the right to tell you if you're good or bad is you. Because in order to truly combat obesity and type 2 diabetes in adolescence, we have to start with an open mind. Everything in your life is going to be affected by it one way or another. It's just learning to make it a part of your life that it doesn't control you, you control it. Diabetes is a life challenge to you specifically. So you can't sit on your butt and use it as an excuse. It's that next challenge that was given to you to overcome. And we've all done it, so you can too. That Diabetes Documentary. Available now at thatdiabetesdocumentary.com.